What is up, guys? Thaddeus here. I'm. It's a bit different, actually. I'm on. This is this is this is on an iPhone 7 Plus. My camera bag is right there, but all my batteries are dead. Uh, and I ordered two more. I ordered two more from Amazon, okay? And like they haven't came. It's been like two weeks. Okay, I, okay, it's been like two days, but like still, what the fuck? Oh, oh, if you guys didn't notice, um, YouTube actually hit me because I swear my videos. Cause like that's that, that's my brand, yo. I can't change that. So they, they started limiting my monetization or something like that. So I was like, was like taking my ads off. So we'll see how that goes. Cause like I know like YouTube favors videos with ads because you know they make money and shit like that. So we'll see what happens with that. But right now I'm gonna just not take like no ads for you guys, right? Um, which is cool. Which is cool. Cause then you know the video starts sooner. And we get to the we get to the juice sooner or to the meat um, and juice, I guess if that's your cup of tea. But 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 uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah yeah and and, and you know what I like when there's ads running and I'm making like okay money off my ads you know you know what that means that means there's like some of you guys are buying from these ads about other econ like bruh i got a course buy my shit what the f always plug okay but still there is a pdf in the in the bottom of the studio which is what this whole video is about essentially guys it's just like a whole timeline and structure on how you can go like your first month on shopify and plan out these these influencer shout outs where to like what to do if shout outs aren't working if they are working when to expand when to like add more shout outs and then when to actually move into sponsored posts paid ads um all that kind of good stuff that's linked in the description below the course is also closing soon guys 20 25 percent off i'm adding two more videos to the course tonight as well and i might actually bump up the price of the course just because soon there's gonna be so many videos that like like it'll be worth like 10 times more than what I'm actually charging but there is the discount now I don't know when I'm gonna wrap it up honestly like I, I honestly just when these other projects launch I'm just gonna close the course down and they're launching soon like within the month um, so that's the deal guys hop in the course download the free PDF it's completely free I'm just trying to help you and just you know give me your email <laughs> marketing so I will see you guys and yeah cut back to the actual other part that I recorded right in this in this video I want like I'm actually at my old high school right now that I graduated from picking up my little sister I always help the fam guys so I'm literally just like killing time here I figured like I want to make a video because I've been gone for like this video I want to talk to you guys like I someone someone commented and it got a few likes actually so I was like you know I'll make a video on this but uh, do you guys hear that beep do you guys hear the rain too fuck this audio man wish I had my actual camera stuff. okay so I want to talk about like someone someone commented on my newest video asking you know um, saying something about like you know, how people get attached to their products or to their to their ad campaigns and they don't want to like they don't want to scrap it all because you know they put time and effort into it and they don't want to scrap it they just keep dumping money in expecting to get money out and that's not always the case, right? Like, it's not. You can, you, can, you can have a terrible ad set that you spent hours on. Like, I mean, you usually don't need to spend hours on a particular ad set, but, like, you can. I mean, especially if you're starting out, right? You want to, like, your attention to detail. You could end up, you know, spending a few hours on these ad sets that you're working on, and then you just don't get results. They don't convert. You don't know your demographic. Again, guys, that's why in my course, always plug. I go with Instagram influencers first. Literally. I don't have, like, I don't, I don't, like, guess what my demographic is on Facebook, like paid ads or Instagram sponsored posts. I don't guess about that until I've ran with influencers, had that pixel on my site, it's collecting data, it's collecting data, collecting data, collecting data for like a month. And then we like look into ads, start scaling, like cause we have, like we've built up leads, like leads, okay? We, we know who our clientele are after a month's time. You just gotta be patient, guys. And I know a month is like a lot for you guys that are like, that are just starting out, like, you, like you're hype, you wanna get going like right away. And it's just patience, guys, cause like you can trip up so easily in dropshipping, like like one bad ad set. Like say say you have $100 to spend on ads and, and you blow a Hundred on this one ad set that you like that you thought would do really well because you you think you know who your you know, your audience is your demographic is and you you don't make any money back or you make like one sale or, like you just don't you don't break even you don't even make like make a profit right that really sucks it really like get like gets you and a lot of people just dump money in they expect to like oh yeah I can print money um, with with these like paid ads and it's, like you can you can don't get me wrong you can print money once you know your numbers okay like not right away again it's all about patience and experimentation like if if you know it takes like say five dollars. Um, to get someone to buy a $20 product on your site or something like that, right? And your cost of goods is only like eight. You're in the green, right? You're in the green. That's how you print money, okay? But you don't know it takes you $5. You don't know that until you've experimented with different ad sets, with different like ad copy, words, images, like especially with paid ads, like your, your audiences and expanding with that. But you don't know what those numbers are until you've experimented, until you've tried, until you've scrapped like multiple multiple ad sets until you find one that like does like performs like very very well for the audience that it's in and then after that gets saturated you know you got to like expand and read like redo it and retouch it and all that stuff but again with paid ads there's a different story with instagram ads and shoutouts and stuff like that you don't need to like worry too much about what your audience is you find a page that has your audience like already in it like the, like people follow those pages for a reason right with facebook ads you can like you can target those people you can guess but when you're running shoutouts the people that are interested like they automatically go to your um, to your site, right? And the thing with like influencers these days, like guys, in, in a year and a half, it's gonna be a whole different story, okay? But now, 
influencers don't realize how much their 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 network or their audiences are worth, right? They're they're selling shoutouts like so much cheaper than what they could be, but because everyone else is like selling them dirt cheap too, they have to sell dirt cheap too, right? Because it's like like your competitors, right? So you see some people selling shoutouts for five hundred dollars, some people selling out for like a hundred dollars, but they have like similar followings, right? One, they might know the actual value of their audience. The other guy might not, or one's just a shitty page and stuff like that. Like that's why it's like a very confusing time for this whole influencer space but it's very good for like for people like us that are trying to break through and like get a, a good quality site and like explode like our revenue right and like blow up on drive